subcontractors. It would have brought added prosperity to the city, which had produced the world's biggest bomber. The YB-60 was virtually a B-36 with new fully swept wings and tailplane. Having no defensive armament other than the rear turret, the entire rear crew and quarters were omitted. Added power and less weight brought the YB-60 to a top speed of just over 500 miles per hour and its production was achieved in rapid time as 70% of its components were standard to the 36. Two such examples were ordered by the Air Force to test the concept, but only one was to actually fly. The apparent enthusiasm of the test crew was not shared by the Air Force. They preferred Boeing's all-new design B-52, the Strato Fortress, which, although more expensive, offered better performance in range and speed, shown here next to the original Boeing heavy bomber. On August the 14th, 1954, at a ceremony at Convair's production line in Fort Worth, the last B-36 was handed over to the Air Force. Final delivery from the Peacemaker plant must have been a bittersweet affair for the Fort Worth people, because although Convair was to continue to use the plant for many successful projects, it was from this base that they'd produced what was for many years the biggest plane ever to fly. And a plane that many would say because of its sheer size won a war without having to fight.